Thank you. Hello. <clears throat> Hello. 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 Ji. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Deep Ji. Yes, sir, I'm here. Uh, is it the right time to start the program? Uh, let me see, sir. Please find out how many people are uh, joined the meeting. Sir, yeah, nine people have already joined. We'll wait for one or two minutes for others to join as well. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.
ini. Hello, sir. Anand Babu, sir, can you mute yourself? Uh, sir, we can hear you. Thank you, sir. రాఘదీప్తి గారు స్టార్ట్ అండి రాఘదీప్తి గారు హలో సార్ కెన్ స్టార్ట్ ఓకే సార్ థ్యాంక్ యూ సార్ హను సార్ కెన్ వి స్టార్ట్ సార్ yeah uh, <clears throat> deepthi madam Hello. before uh, starting this program just i want to say a few words about mr hanno sure sir thank you uh, good afternoon uh, respected management and staff members and uh, today we got very good uh, opportunity to interact with mr hanno hanno has 22 years industry experience and who worked in bank of america us in a lead position and he has a complete passion towards the uh, practical exposure towards uh, ml and is a principal data scientist and he has very good experience in training also on his own interest he has started his company in the name of brain labs and he has given so many work conducted workshops and uh, uh, so many programs also recently we have uh, excellent feedback from usmania university as well as a beats and we got uh, four out of four uh, feedback from industry people also and mainly the purpose and agenda of uh, uh, this anus interaction with you people so he is going to create the what exactly the uh, importance of uh, ai and ml and how exactly it is useful to the faculty members as well as the student fraternity because we conducted one uh, program paid program to uh, through bits pilani by conducting uh, charging 1500 rupees it's a open program and few of the engineering college they directly approach us to conduct to their students by discount giving the special uh, discount to the students so based on that we are also interested to give same kind of service to your college that is how just we want to show how this program is going to useful for the both the areas like faculty as well as the student segment okay so uh, hanu ji please uh, go ahead uh, and uh, start the program great thank you thank you very yeah, much padmaraj garu for the kind words yes. see so, um sir hanu garu yeah yes yes uh, please this is dr jvs anand prasad vice principal academics and uh, most welcome thank you uh, for the interest uh, in giving uh, few inputs about uh, artificial intelligence and machine learning and about your uh, brain labs welcome sir thank you thank you very much sir and uh, um this is uh, my second uh, participation with the gudlawal engineering college earlier i was the one 
who joined for a year an hour and hour and half for the last blockchain technologies okay yeah okay. and uh thank you for having me again uh so uh, i i have few questions so that then i can uh set the stage and write uh do we have the ai as a part of the practice for the students right now yeah we have the course as a theory okay uh, machine learning data analytics Mm -hmm. uh, for that uh, we have the lab sessions sir. yeah the labs too yeah. okay okay so uh, what tools we are using right now and uh, what is the students level of engagement or uh, the interaction right now so good ending good be. good okay. great so um, i think you must be following the russell's books the same and uh, complete the syllabus wise also yeah yeah um great great sir so let me uh quickly uh, run through the um what i am going to talk about and uh, this is what the i just briefly we did a, a five day workshop uh, uh in association with uh, bits pilani and uh, the main the core objectives of this workshop are divided like this from a, there are a, there are the first step is going to be the understanding of the basic mathematics so from a extraction transformation and loading what is the data set and how do we need to perceive and transform the data set and uh, then applying the learning about the basics of the program uh, uh, linear programming our linear equations and the statistics as well as the basic probability so uh, this is what we cover in the, in the first place so that then the students will be able to uh, re, uh, get the understanding again refresh their knowledge refresh their old learnings and uh, uh, the second is um, the second day uh, basically loading the data sets cleaning training using various algorithms and evaluation and scoring them and understanding of the multiple algorithms how they are going to be compared so uh, this is how we did for the last session and then the day 2 and this is where supervised machine learning regression models on the day 2 on the day 3 we did a, a classification algorithm which is a two class or a multi class classification algorithm using a various data sets and uh, implementing uh, predicting uh, whether it is a, a confusion matrix understanding of the results uh, what is roc what is aoc how do we interpret the results that's what it takes them and the day 4 what we did is a, a uh, continuation of the classification the recommended algorithm also so the recommended systems how one what is the principle they worked on and uh, what is the fundamentals so we have this particular the all the learnings of the by the machines how this is being done is being given out there uh, in one uh, i think in uh, two chapters of the syllabus and also on a day 5 we did a, a chart board creation for the students and uh, train and, and deploy i believe all of you have a, a fair understanding of the industry requirement why uh, this particular um, ai and ml is a very critical at this point of time i don't want to uh, uh, take a lot of time so uh, on, on detailing about that then we create the chart bots and posting the creating the chart bot of uh, the student his own and posting it on a facebook or on a telegram and using offering a service so whatever they are learning from the the mathematics the basic mathematics and uh, the experiments using the algorithms and also uh, and uh, and also taking that to doing the chart bot training with the and the chart bot is going to be completely posted this is what the uh, we fairly we did in, in the last session and let me quickly show you how easily or what is the process or how it is going to be beneficial for the students in what format and uh, for the faculty and everyone 
So uh, I'm, I'm going to use, there are various uh, providers. We are going to use um, Microsoft Azure ML, uh, Azure Machine Learning. In the Azure Machine Learning, I'll just quickly run through a simple uh, experiment, how this experiment is going to be predict and uh, how simple, how easy the student is going to be or the users are going to be. So whatever the theoretically we are learning, how we can experiment the same thing. So when I log in, I can, I can show you that uh, on the left hand side, there are experiments and uh, I can just create a, a new experiment, a blank experiment. So I'm going to use one of the data set, which is automobile price prediction. So machine learning is all about training the system to predict. So in the prediction, it can be classification or it, or it can be continuous variables. So automobile price prediction, price data. I believe some of your faculty members also joined my session earlier. Um, the same. Uh, so this is where the, the data, the data set is here. Just click visualize. Why I'm showcasing this is uh, the one, the point is Yeah, um, uh, why I'm showcasing this is I want everyone, every department to be feel that and they understand or experience the AI and machine learning, how easily they can also build the skills in that area. Because every, uh, the coming campus placements or the hirings or any recruitment, whichever is happening, uh, apart from the CRT, now everybody's focus is uh, all the, reasoning part the logical reasoning part of it is slowly translating into the, the logical the the reasoning part of it is slowly translating into slowly translating into machine learning and uh, how do you do the problem solving skills and how do you apply the logics to solve the problems so that's the that's where the industry hirings are heading towards and when it, when it comes to when it is happening like this uh, and the industry is moving towards the direction now i just uh, uh, added the data set there are 206 rows are there 26 columns are there these are all the features which are going to be packed in the final price prediction final price prediction for the so these all are the different 25, all the 25 columns, whichever are available are going to be impacting the final price, which is the 26th column. So just what I'm trying to show you, everyone is at the data set. I just dropped the data set and I'm just visualizing how with the data, data in that there are mean, median, minimum value, maximum value, standard deviation, unique values, missing values. So like this, it is completely, the data is being visualized. So there are some missing values are there. So why be, I'm directly, I believe all of you are aware of the basics and I'm not getting into the, the, those details. So I just want to show you everyone, our experience, let the everyone to experience how easily you can also build a model and the students can benefit out of it and they will understand easily. Bhaskar, Mari, you are the Kali Gunnar staff member Sandhuru. The mission learning me the Putin Peter link Zoom only. Under Jaina man, event like a founder. You are the Allah. You are looking at me. Hello, sir. 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 Please mute yourself. Manol, Yeri, Sudhima. Right. So, um, these are the different columns which are finally impacting the the final outcome. The final outcome in the entire given data set is the price of the vehicle. 
so how these parameters are going to be impacting how these inputs are going to be impacting in the final price prediction this is what we are going to calculate and let's do out of this data set of 205 records 205 records right so there are some missing values are there now i'm going to use the clean missing values so clean missing data i'm going to use just by dragging by connecting by connecting and i am selecting all the columns and i am specifying the minimum value maximum value and the cleaning mode i am going to replace the cleaning mode with the what kind of cleaning and what kind of replacement is going to be i am going to use the mode as you all are aware if the one of the student if one of the data record is not available the best way is uh, when we are doing the calculations we have to it will clean the first the first step in the cleaning the data right so the cleaning is being done uh, so now i i connected this module and now clean the missing data is being completed so now if let's go and visualize the data and when we visualize the data now you will see there are no missing values in this space normalize the losses if we observe missing values are zero missing values are zero everywhere because i have selected all the 26 columns missing values are eliminated and all of them are clear so now we have the data set because b this is being a price prediction price prediction i am talking about the in the first and then the first presentation in the first slide regression algorithm the base after the basics revisit regression algorithm it is all about the continuous values prediction of the continuous values so what algorithms i am going to use the regression algorithm what kind of regression algorithm i am going to use so under regression i'm going to use linear regression algorithm so i'm just dragging and dropping linear regression algorithm so now i have the linear regression algorithm but uh, i need to first the first step is to split the data what data i have the 206 records i'm going to split the given data set into i'm going to split the data into 70 30 or 80 so 0.8 percentage so i'm giving 80 percentage and i'm just giving a random seed number a unique number right and uh, regression linear regression algorithm then i'm going to call the train module good I told you that I need at least twenty to thirty response. So please respond. So once the training is over, let me connect it to the scoring module. So now the experiment is finished, my dear friends. And this is a data set which I have taken. The first step, the first step, the data set which I have taken. If I visualize, there are 205 records. Which consists of the column names, symboling, normalized losses, etc. The normalized losses, there are 41 records are missing if you observe. 41 records are there. Like this, every column, there are some missing values are there. 
some of them are string and integer then we applied one of the module called clean the missing data what is that we applied we applied the clean the missing data then we use the the replacement or the cleaning method algorithm as a mode the statistics mode is the the highest number of times the data which is being which is which, which uh, the the highest number of times repeated so the mode is the method which i have taken then after that what happened the cleaning is being completed there are no more there are no more missing values in the given data set symboling or uh, normalized losses you take any 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 of the column out of the 26 everything is zero now what i am doing here is i am splitting the data splitting the 205 records i am dividing the given data set into one is for a training and one is for the testing data set train data set and test data set with a 80 percentage so the now if you look here 80 percentage of the, my 205 records should be appeared here as a 164 records 164 records so i'm going to train using the 164 records if i look here visualize the second data set, the remaining balance, 41 records are here. So 80% of the training data set. So in the given data set, I divided into train data set and test data set. So I'm passing the training data set to the, I call the linear regression algorithm because we are predicting the numerical number, the price of the vehicle. So when, I, when it comes to the price of the vehicle, linear regression i'm training now if you observe i'm training with the the first data set along with the machine learning data along with the in the train model now if we go and observe what are the parameters i pass here there is a bias settings a regularization whether it is a l1 regularization or l2 regularization i am I'm not going deep dive into that hello unknown levels random number seed and each one of the, the weights which are being calculated as a parameters and all the calculations are being shown in the given data set. So once the training is completed, then for the given train data set output, I'm going to connect with the test data set, which is being separated out of our given data set. So now here, I'm going to look at the score the data. If I go and visualize, now for all the 41 records, now we are seeing the 27 columns. 26 columns are translated in 27 columns. Now if you look here, this is the actual price which is being given, but our predicted price is 14,450. 5,389. So the predicted price is 6,211. 34,000. See, I did not apply any of the trader transformations. Or, um, it's, I just simply taken a very bare minimum manipulations so that the data can be the experiment can be finished and quickly in a less than five minutes so if we go and evaluate so how is the performance of our experiment and what how do we measure the coefficient of determination is 67 percentage relative absolute error or relative squared error rmsc root mean squared error so this is how a predictions are going to be executed on each and every type of algorithm. What we discussed here, what I showed you, supervised machine learning regression models from a loading to splitting algorithms, apply every one of the feature and give the best prediction results. And Adam similar, similarly, classification algorithm. So, uh, similarly, classification, recommended algorithm, and creating the chart bars. So, now I would like to hear back from you and with any questions. Uh, this thing, see, this experiment is going to be executed by each and every student or each and every participant who is joining the session. Sir, is that uh, uh, that entire thing is uh, free or uh, we have to purchase? It's a uh, free version is available, sir. Okay. 
So it's okay. a Microsoft Azure Machine Learning Studio. Right, right. See how we do uh, the whole experimentation or the whole execution process. Let me show you on a Brain Labs. Um, and the Brain Labs is a complete end-to-end -end management platform for every student. So if we, if we look here, all the recorded sessions of the, my previous workshops, sessions, which are going to be available for the student to go through, they can uh, complete once the uh, recorded sessions. And every student is going to be given a career path. So the student is going to pick up a career path and the career path is going to be, it is going to be uh, the prerequisite. For example, somebody want to become a data scientist. What are the prerequisites? The mathematics, beginner level, intermediate level, advanced level like this. So similarly, there is an academic path too. When I say academic path, you have your own syllabus. For example, compiler design or Unix programming, are for each semester wise and uh, UML la lab or DBMS lab or C++ lab or OS lab. So how does this work works is uh, for example, DBMS lab and over your database management system. If I click on here, what are the different assignments which are given assessments and lesson plans for this particular topic and also the virtual labs, the student is going to be given access to the virtual labs related to your academics as well as the industry oriented, how industry is being used. For example, write a Java program to display default value of all permitted data types of Java. So the student is supposed to submit this, submit, use the lab. And uh, this is related to so and so semester and he's going to use this compiler to finish using the language and he's going to submit the expected output. So uh, this is right now we are the, we are enabling the virtual labs for the uh, computer science. Now we have the same similar virtual labs for the physic, physics, chemistry and uh, everything. Uh, every one of them, we have the virtual labs and uh, the student, how the students are doing it. It's not just the, Okay. <laughs> 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 So, uh, mathematics labs and the el uh, electronics labs also similarly. And uh, if the student finishes the number of iterations, how many iterations he tried, and the faculty will also able to see what is the solution he submitted and uh, what is the score or memory and what is the code he has written. Every detail he can see that. And also, uh, uh, my activities where the individual is going to perform, participate in the various workshops and projects, boot camps, hackathons. The beauty in the platform is every the entire digital footprint of the student is being captured and being presented to the corporates on the other side. Corporate hirings are going to be done on the same platform and where the students are going to be benefited out of the whole exercise. So if there are training batches are going on, there are hackathons are going on and uh, out of the hackathons, the partner companies are going to hire the students who are performing well for the given business problem, who are able to solve them. So their resume, their career, everything is being built into it and uh, what kind of certification they are able to finish, what kind of, uh, and the resume will be automatically generated out of the uh, careers and uh, the job opportunities or the internship opportunities or the placement drives, what is coming in. So the resume, resume also will be automatically generated out of the student activities. Okay, now let me log, log in as a, if I am 
how do we execute the same workshops what we are talking our workshop methodology is a little different our workshop is going to be conducted a complete uh, understanding with a complete understanding of the student for example if here if you look here uh, i'm going to take you to the i'm walking you through the workshops how the workshops are going to be executed so now this is the 978 students are registered for the last session but a 4 430 or 440 people have joined the session and uh, every workshop is going to be like this what is the schedule event schedule day wise what are the different announcements what are the different assignments given to the each one of the workshop during the workshop day wise and virtual lab problems the problems which are being given to them how they executed and what they are doing what are the different assessments and completion ratio and uh, this is the actual enrollment how many who all are the students have enrolled for the session and feedback about the session and reports this is a interesting area so how many of them are having a visual learners how many of them are auditory learners or how many of them are kinesthetic learners there is a way where we ask the student to fill the profile for the career compass whether they are going to be fit for entrepreneurship whether they are going to be fit for employment they can think of entrepreneurship what are their work preferences on the plan on the planet we have three types of work preferences one is uh, working with the people and the second one is working with the hands and the third one is a uh, working with the information so where do they go whether they are going to go for a uh, information how much percentage of the students are how much percentage of the students out of the session so each student is also going to know what is their suitability or what is they what is their work preferences what kind of interest they possess if you look here conventional people unless until they see something they don't believe so like this the analysis happens what kind of career classes they have chosen everything is being done what kind of abilities they possess from a, a, every aspect of logical verbal non verbal all these assessment is also going to be done in advance and also uh, the enrollments etc and the closure details the recorded sessions of the particular workshop before i close the session and the performance who are the students how they did etc certificate generation rate and review once they submit their assessment how i am going to pursue so what is that my feedback is going to be whether he is going to be suitable to start a job or suitable is he does he need a hard work so all the attitude or he can be given an internship opportunity like this it is going to be completely finished with the uh, communication the chart features everything is going to be available this is how we execute a workshop and the student experience is going to be whatever i shared here this uh, this particular workspace and the students can they are going to share the workspace for all their experiences for all their challenges what they are going through what what chal so that then we can check that solution what is that they executed what is that they finish this is what uh, overall so now i am open for questions and um, if you have any specifics i am happy to walk you through that sir uh, how much you are charging for this sir for uh, attending the students for this workshop or for, uh, for it i think parvaraj garu sir this is prasad so, sorry yes yeah, sir we charge last time 1200 rupees uh, for the five days okay 1500 rupees was the listed and uh, we offered around 1200 rupees but if the college is adopting there are multiple things sir see uh, you must have understood the the platform the resume to everything even for your faculty i did not show you your faculty login in your faculty in your pre, as a principal you can see and as a corporate how many hirings are happening 
for a training and placement officer of your organization he can see what training program they are going through and uh, let me as a hod as a principal vice principal and uh, how your students are doing for example now your syllabus are like this so uh, and over your database management system dbms somebody is teaching for what period what week they are teaching and everything the lesson plans are going to be automatically loaded and uh, the faculty can select and they can submit it and uh, how much time they are going to give and what is the purpose of the bloom's taxonomy whether it is analysis purpose or understanding purpose or whether we are doing the application orientation like this we give them and also you will see the the faculty can also see what kind of a, a experiments are the virtual labs the student is able to finish and uh, is able to submit it so um, the student outcomes research papers uh, assignments and uh, solutions to the assignments so uh, now for example if here now what i am showing you is uh, assignment outcome details and uh, remember what percentage are evaluate are synthesize what we, what is the preference we are giving the lesson outcomes are are the course outcomes so the program outcomes and um, what kind of activities yeah database management system activities and uh, the faculty lesson plans we give the default lesson plans and you can also choose and you can also make changes to the lesson plan you can create your own assignment you can create your own assessment can out of our own our system also you can do that so when you are creating a new assignment you can say what methodology or uh, what kind of what chapter it is what kind of assignment type is is it a coding or activity or descriptive or a calculation what is the solution submission mode and what career program the student is going to be it is going to be for example artificial intelligence so this is a career suitable career program by doing this like this and a solution guidance everything is going to be provided for the faculty this is for the your academic child academic as well as the career also on the similar lines as i showed you the faculty students have submitted assignment solutions and whatever the student has submitted the faculty can view them and they can read them and they can say that okay please go back and do a rework on that and the student is going to be rework on that resubmit it everything he can download and he can submit the solution this is what i am showing you as a faculty and there is a hod hod can see much more and even the faculty can update their research papers and uh, now this week uh, faculty can uh, update their research papers what they are doing and out of this your nac or nba sir, score sir. the tentative scores are going to be anu calculated anu garu please sir i have some doubt is it uh, you are talking about learning management system or you are talking about conducting the workshop uh, using this learning management system I yes yes both sir so both are there both are there the see somebody who is looking for a uh, this is a platform all the students who are coming here the corporates also hire them based on the what career program they have chosen and how they are doing what labs they are able to finish etc okay, that so this lms is with you once the student registered with you for the workshop uh, that entire uh, uh, yes. uh, his uh, his capabilities right. are all yes. uh, yeah. available to you in your platform right whether the faculty or uh, any other company also can able to see that sir right right they can they can uh, send uh, hire them they can call for the call them for interviews and uh, see our uh, hackathons the next hackathons what we are going to launch uh, along with the companies they come back with the uh, uh, they come up with a problem statements and whoever are able to provide a solution they will be hired automatically from then and there but if you are charging say 1200 rupees per head per week after that 
if you are conducting any hackathons and all these things once again they have to pay or the same thing he will continue this is a uh, see college if the college is adopting it's a, a different way sir if you are looking at a, uh, it's a looking at a individuals are hiring individuals are interested to join for these sessions are are uh, looking for their uh, uh, options to explore the career paths then that's a different individually they have to pay okay. if college is adopting and every student is uh, they are practicing all their arithmetic or logical reasoning etc everything on the same platform for their uh, campus placement and all their uh, uh, reasoning as well as the programming part of all the compilers then it is going to be um, is the one time how much it is if that is the case uh, it's a costing around 150 rupees per month sir per month per head per head mm-hmm. okay. sir what you teach uh, for one week workshop sir this is what sir and uh, supervised machine learning algorithms and uh, regression classification recommender and creating chart bots mathematics in the stats probability and a linear programming linear equation so everything is with hands on everything is hands on i don't teach uh, uh, pptts this is what uh, we did and uh, uh, even the last sessions also in the same way you can see all the reviews of uh, the previous sessions you're telling about uh, is it offline or online sir it's a uh, online sir it's online okay it, it's is a last session completely online we did okay. if things permits and uh, the future uh, as a, we are see we are also doing a degree programs with the various universities so uh, bharatiya university we are the ones who do the ai complete pg program so our faculty will take care of that they use our platform and completely the objective is creating the digital footprint for the student that's what is needed in this new world the digital footprint and uh, uh, that's that that helps the student to realize and also for us to intervene wherever it is required and because the data tells us that the data speaks loud and also the corporates are looking for somebody's profile who and how they built it and over the 3 years or 4 years of their learning at the college what is that they have been doing how they are being growing and what is the progress they made throughout the 4 years of their journey what kind of problems they are able to solve and uh, that's a hands on and where is that proof if somebody want to see that so do you have any tie up with uh, corporate yes yes sir so which companies the list is with uh, i can share you the list with with you later sir there are the list is getting added right now okay. but uh, beginning with the next hackathon you will see the companies or uh, do you have any statistics like uh, from the few last years uh, okay. how many students were placed because of this no th- this is a last uh, uh, 8 to 10 months effort sir and uh, before that so it's, uh, it's a last two years we have been building but uh, last 8 to 10 months is what we have been uh, seriously in the market 
and uh, uh, we are helping the colleges and the students to even NSDC is also looking for uh, our solution. Even uh, NEET 2.0, you must be aware. So that they are also looking at our solution too. They want to take the, our solution completely. Oh, no, my question is, mm -hmm. uh, which company uh, mm -hmm. selects the students, those who have uh, uh, the profile in your uh, platform by looking into your uh, platform? Is there any such statistics? So this is a uh, last seven, eight months effort only. And it just began now. Okay, so not yet started. No, not yet started. The, the students have started learning. Okay. And uh, you know that Udemy, right? Udemy. Yeah, Udemy. Yeah, uh, Brain Labs is a Udemy Asia partner. Mm -hmm. So what we do and uh, Udemy Brain Labs Association is we give around 4,000 courses at a single price, mm -hmm. complete courses. So normally students will go and buy it each one of the individual. So here we give it a complete at a single price. How much it is? 7,000 rupees per year. Per year, 7,000? Yes. So it's a, it's a combination of many uh moving parts are there it is addressing uh, the platform is uh, with the help we are trying to classify the students of different segmentation as well as the students into giving them an employability score with the ai and ml and intervene wherever it is required when the student engagement levels are low it's a blended model which we are working out so let me know the colleges to which uh, you have a tie up with uh, uh, any surrounding colleges in Krishna or the nearby districts. Hello. We honestly, IAP Telangana, we just started. Tamil Nadu, we did, uh, and Karnataka, Alliance University, and uh, last year, uh, we, we we started in last year with Alliance University. Okay. So, uh, but uh, AP Telangana, we haven't entered. Okay. How many colleges, sir? How many colleges are uh, in tie up with you? Four colleges. Four colleges. Yes. Uh, so A and ML, uh, are you uh, providing uh, training on A ML? A and A and ML, isn't it? Right. Uh, yes. Are you explaining uh, the mathematical uh, concepts of A and ML? For example, yes, if you say yes. linear regression. Right. You are just uh, taking the function and uh, applying the function on the data set, but mm -hmm. uh, the mathematics uh, details of that linear regression is also required. Are you explaining that to the students or not? Absolutely. And uh, one of your faculty, I think Mr. Nanduri, you can have a word with him and uh, the five days, how he participated and he will give you the best feedback. Uh, he will give you the complete experience share with you. Okay. Yeah, that's the completely we do that. Hmm. Let me. Show you. So generally uh, for A and ML applications, mm -hmm. uh, people use Python or R tool, you know? Right. Uh, but uh, how your platform helps? For example, if the students are doing uh, projects with your platform, okay, and they might not uh, learn those things, you know, Python or uh, R mm. tool, et cetera. Then they R will... Uh, yeah. R tool is more for academic point of view for the students to get benefited it's better for them to go with the Python. Okay, number one. Okay. Number two, mm. and why uh, AIML with the machine, uh, with the Azure ML, there are three things. One is uh, mathematics, and the second is algorithms, and the third is the programming language. Mm. So all three at a time, at a one point of time, in, in, in a single shot, it's very difficult for the student to understand to begin with. 
okay. that's where lada students will fizzle out when they jo- when they start when you start all three with a python and uh, they will end up you will see in the beginning 50 members but at the at the end uh, you will see uh, hardly 5 10 members but this helps them to understand how the algorithm works how the prediction actually working so then uh, the mathematical principle behind what is it is all about okay. then it is easy for them to apply the programming by one of the programming language python and they can translate they can do all these operations easily but companies uses so python or r tool you know companies don't use r tool but uh, might maximum. be python might be python yes python okay but uh, uh, <laughs> five days uh, if you are, if you are expecting python complete and using all this it's very difficult five okay. days so they need to first at least understand the algorithm interpret the results what is the formula what is the process behind and what is normalization and if you show them with the coding then that's a, the students are not will not be able to do it in in a uh, in a five day session okay mm. so a programming language at least it requires for them to 30 mm. to 45 days once they know the programming language knowing python is different and applying what modules need to be used in solving the particular problem using machine learning so those modules whether and how do we how do we interpret results they are already aware so then it is going to be easy for them okay sir okay fine great so any other questions sir sir trainers are from different corporate people or trainers from your organization while conducting the workshop this workshop i personally i do it okay sir you only do that okay mm, yeah ml personally i do it mm-hmm. what is the minimum uh, number of students you are expecting sir so minimum uh, 60 people okay mm-hmm. if the number goes on uh, higher level then mm-hmm. is there any possibility of reducing the charge yeah sure sir that padmaraj gar will de- uh, discuss sir that there is no issue on that that we can discuss. so uh, can, can students do the project after the uh, your uh, workshop yeah you uh, meaning that uh, you are uh, uh, guiding that you are monitoring that project or see the uh, project means um, can you be a little specific uh, more elaborate on that for example uh, they will learn you know supervised and supervised um, okay all uh, those techniques. experiments day wise assignments are going to be mm. given to them and okay. it is uh-huh. going to be tracked on the platform and it okay. is going to be the workspace is going to be shared with uh, with us and uh, you, we can i can go to the workshop or the workspace and what experiment is being completed how they did all that is being there they need a, a one system with the internet okay okay bro So, any other questions okay sir i don't have any questions other participants if they have the heads of the department of pc it or others are also there 
Yeah, yeah, you can discuss. You can discuss uh, any. If you have any questions, you can discuss sure. and related to your industry, how it is going to impact. Uh, I believe uh, some of you are most of you must have joined my blockchain, the session which happened in your premises or in your college. Yes, sir. So uh, that would have given you the the solution approach or or how I navigate through the problem great then uh, thank you very much for the opportunity and uh, pay for patiently listening to me and, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you again thank you sir thank you very much sir. thank you very much yeah thank you so much for sparing your time sir Hannah, sir thank you so much thank you